Today, our team would like to introduce to you our newest innovation, the QR Movie Menu. Have you ever been frustrated due to strangers at movies wandering around the whole film? Or do you hate missing out on scenes when you get up to purchase food? With our new QR code systems, individuals will be able to scan their seat number and items on our full menu for their food to be delivered to their seat, avoiding the hassle of having to go purchase food. We're sure many people over the last year have become accustomed to using QR codes during COVID-19, so we are bringing this feature into select Gold Class Cinemas, adding a new technological element to improve the cinema experience and show people that there is still a benefit of viewing movies in the social setting of cinemas. We researchers and developers of this project believe our goal can be explained through a saying by scholar Henry Jenkins on his blog, Confessions of an Acofan Blog. The key is to produce something that both pulls people together and gives them something to do. Our project is a social innovation which both brings individuals together in today's struggling cinema industry but gives them something to do that they haven't tried before that improves their quality of life and movie experience. How does your innovation fit one of the five categories? The QR movie menu code innovation fits into the automation and slash or robotics category. Automation can be defined as the use or introduction of automatic equipment in a manufacturing or other process or facility. QR codes are a fairly new concept and were designed in 1994 for the automotive industry in Japan. Since the coronavirus pandemic outbreak in the early months of 2020, it has kickstarted the use of QR codes being introduced into our daily lives. They are now an extremely common process when entering retail stores, restaurants and even hotels. A recent survey found since COVID-19, the amount of users scanning QR codes increased by 18.8%. This rise is speculated to continue to increase in the coming years. This makes it perfect for the introduction of QR codes into the movie world as it needs no explanation and is quite easy to use. The industry report furthers their findings by stating that Australia has a 90% mobile phone penetration and QR code usage has rapidly grown in the region because of this. How does your innovation embrace social innovation and improve the quality of life or extend life? So what actually is social innovation? Social innovation is the process of developing and deploying effective solutions to challenging and often systematic social and environmental issues in support of social progress. This innovation of incorporating QR codes into the cinema world would ultimately lead to a new social practice and improve the existing conditions that are currently in place. The implication of using QR codes when attending cinemas would improve the quality of life for individuals. It would remove the frustration that is caused due to unwanted disruptions when individuals want to go and grab movie food mid-movie. Along with this, it would increase the popularity of actually paying to go watch the movie instead of staying at home and putting on Netflix. Cinemas, once a popular activity, has seen a de decline due to technology advancements and the use of Netflix. The sharing economy can be defined as people sharing their intangible assets and underutilized assets with the assistance of the internet. Sharing these assets can be done at a cost or for free as stated by Grog. The sharing economy is viewed as having various benefits which include reducing environmental impact as well as allowing several users to access the same information at the same time. For this particular innovation of the QR code ordering system, by using QR codes at the movie theatre, it minimises the use of paper menus and receipts and also minimises the contact between individuals which is crucial during COVID-19. The subset that our innovation falls under is the digital economy. The use of the QR code ordering system requires the use of mobile technology and the Internet of Things, as stated by Grog. Using this online system, it allows individuals to access information and create action through their personal devices that are powered by digital technologies. QR codes were first introduced in 1994 with the goal of being able to store a large capacity of information as mentioned by the history of the QR code. 
The need for QR codes has come into play in recent years, specifically with the issue of the current COVID-19 pandemic. These QR codes allow us to access and receive a vast amount of information within seconds. QR codes have been used in restaurants and cafes to order straight from personal mobile devices with minimal contact with others, which is important with social distancing. Additionally, they have been used for movie theatre tickets, but we are yet to see them in use to combine restaurant-style ordering at a cinema. This ordering system done through QR codes will further elevate the movie experience in select gold-class cinemas. Witten states that the interest in movie theatres has dramatically decreased due to COVID-19 restrictions. This has led to movie theatres needing to temporarily close or challenge themselves against streaming services such as Netflix. In integrating the use of QR codes at the cinema, you not only limit the amount of contact you have with other individuals, but you're also able to limit the amount of time you miss of the movie by ordering food from the comfort of your seat and having it brought to you. The benefits of implementing this ordering system not only minimises individual contact, but allows for convenience and a more efficient way of ordering. When scanning a QR code, you are able to translate the language as well as alter the size of the text. These are important for individuals who may want to read the menu in an alternative language or have sight difficulties. Through implementing this QR code ordering system, it aims to bring comfort and change into the cinematic industry. In order to understand how QR codes relate to convergence culture, you would first need to ask, what is it? Again, according to Professor Henry Jenkins, convergence is the flow of content across multiple media platforms. The relationship between multiple media industries and the changing behaviour of media audiences in the sense of searching for new kinds of entertainment experiences. Convergence describes technological, cultural and social changes and its dependence on the discussion of the topic. The world of media convergence factors in the importance of stories being told, brands being sold and consumers actively participating. So, how does it all relate to QR codes at the cinema? Well, the circulation of media content transcends multiple different media systems, depending heavily on the active participation of consumers. Having a QR code to order items while viewing a movie would factor into the idea that convergence represents a cultural shift for consumers. Consumers would be then led into seeking out new information among scattered media content. Convergence does not necessarily occur through media appliances, however advanced they become. It occurs within our minds and the choices we make as a consumer and through the social interactions with others, hence why cinemas would need to employ new staff for such a role. We believe the QR code movie menu is an innovative and interesting way to revamp and renew movie theatres. As previously mentioned, the struggle of COVID-19 and increase in streaming services has greatly impacted the cinema industry. Our innovation not only benefits individuals and their movie experience, but also benefits the cinema industry economically. From our research on innovation, the sharing economy, and convergence culture, we have concluded that there are many benefits of this project being introduced in theatres. We would like to thank you all for listening to our pitch, and we hope you would consider helping to make this idea a reality.